Tornado on the ground right now, right on I-40 in Western Canadian County. We're in constant contact with several units. It's on the ground. It's in the rope stage, so it's a small rope-like tornado, but it's still on the ground headed down I-40 uh, toward uh, El Reno and Yukon and eventually Oklahoma City. So it's a very potent situation uh, to our west. We'll show you radar here in just a few minutes. As of 6 p.m. here in Oklahoma City, we have mostly sunny skies, but I think I can tell you the thunderstorms have now turned that sunshine to gray. 85 degrees. The winds are breezy from the south, 20 gusting to 30, humidity 63%. The pressure 29.63 and falling and no precipitation today. The high temperature 87 degrees after a muggy morning low of 73. Radar now, this is uh, the very important information here I need to pass along to you. Tornado warning in effect for central and western Canadian County. Tornado on the ground since 601 right on I-40 in extreme western Canadian County just east of the Hinton Road exit. That's 281 and I-40. The storm. You can see the hook right there in the back of it. The tornado is right there. It's moving due east at 25 miles per hour. Will eventually pass very close to El Reno. You folks in El Reno are going to have some large hail, possibly up to baseball size over the next 20 to 30 minutes. And then behind the hail, the tornado is back here uh, along I-40, about 15 miles to your west. The storm is tracking due east, and if it continues its current course and speed, it will be moving into the Yukon area right around 7 to 710, and possibly into the Oklahoma City metro area around Bethany, perhaps around 7.30 to 7.35. Now, it could weaken before then, but it is headed right toward uh, central and eastern Canadian County into Oklahoma County between now and 7.30 to 7.40. More tornado warnings now for Kingfisher County. A tornado confirmed near Omega, which is in western Kingfisher County about 20 minutes ago. This large, severe thunderstorm is now centered over and just west of you folks in Kingfisher and Dover. It's also tracking toward the east. Could produce lemon to baseball-sized hail as it tracks into western Logan County over the next 20 minutes and another very severe storm now west of Marshall uh, moving into northern Logan County. That particular storm also shows rotation on 5 Alive Doppler radar as it tracks toward the east into northern Logan County. So three severe to potentially tornadic storms all lined up passing toward the east at 20 miles per hour. Another strong storm south of Lahoma could have some small hail as it passes near Wacomas, just south of you folks in Enid uh, during the next 30 minutes. Now, tornado watch in effect.